Atlantis Mirror Houston in celebration of your superb rendezvous and docking yesterday. Good morning. Okay, and in celebration of Jerry's birthday tonight, thank you very much. Atlantis Houston for Bakes. Uh, we have KU for the next oh, 20 minutes or so, so it might be a good time to bring it down. Go ahead, I've got that out. Okay, this is going to be very similar to what happened yesterday. Uh, basically, it's looking like the uh, we're not getting any dose tail data out of meter six. So, what we'd like to have done is on incubator A, plate 700. Remove meter six, that's 22 degrees C, and reins reinsert immediately in the same position. Report the uh, status back to MCC and then close the door on incubator A. For BioRack, the uh, meter has been removed and replaced in incubator A. We copy, thanks. And he's to Space Hab Atlantis for FO 11B, starting step two at this time. We copy.
Linus Houston. Marsha, of your in-cabin photos, 133, and of kids set, 265. Holy mackerel, that's great. The guys that put that out on them, thank you very much. Господин Блаха, начнем с вас. Вы находите в космосе 122 дня. Как вы себя чувствуете? В течение четырех месяцев на борту станции Мир вы будете проводить выход. Как вы беспокоитесь об этом? John, when you land next week, uh, you will have spent 128 days in space. As you reflect on this mission, what's the most important lesson you've learned about long-duration space flight and working with the Russians? Когда вы приземлитесь на следующей неделе, вы проведете в космосе 128 дней. Какой основной урок вы извлекли из такого длительного пребывания в космосе? First of all, let me say overall uh, something that President Clinton did four years ago when he came into office was absolutely fantastic. And that was to take two great space programs, one from Russia and one from the United States, where for 35 years we had gone our separate ways and we had both had great space programs in a competition. And he got together with the Russian leadership and they decided together to bring these two great countries, America and Russia, together and to do something where we can help each other. They have Space Station Mir, which is a fantastic space station. We have the Space Shuttle, which is a fantastic vehicle to transport people and things to the Mir and take them back down to the Earth. They have a Progress resupply vehicle. They have a Spruce Guy on the Operant, a Soyuz capsule at the end of this vehicle, which we plan on the International Space Station to use as our emergency crew return vehicle. So what we are accomplishing in this phase with the Mir and the Shuttle is we're learning how to operate together, Russians and Americans in space on a joint international space station. And coincidental with this, we are building a new space station. And so we're just getting a head start on how to work together in space. And in my view, this mission, which we have just flown, is the third in a series that have now been flown in 
And I think that is absolutely incredible and a fantastic benefit to every, all of the six billion human beings living on planet Earth. Thanks. And uh, a question for Mir Flight Engineer Alexander Kaleri. Uh, John Blaha has been replaced aboard Mir by Jerry Leninger, of course. And I'm wondering what your advice is to Jerry Leninger on how to make the best of, a, of his stay aboard the Mir station. Over. Вопрос Валерию. Джан Блаха будет заменен Джерри Леннинджером на орбите. Какой у вас совет для Джерри? Как лучше всего устроиться на борту станции и адаптироваться? I think that the best way, the best advice is to listen to John Blaha's advice, uh, which they have been doing for the last two days, and we haven't seen them much. John. Uh, has spent a good flight and he understands all the problems aboard the station and he has learned to live and work here and he also understands the problems uh, which Jerry will encounter even better than we do and he will be a better person to ask for advice and we will help him adapt. Uh, one to Mike Baker real quick. Uh, Commander uh, you made that docking with Mir look pretty easy the other night, and I'm, I'm wondering how valuable these joint missions are as a stepping stone to building the International Space Station. Over. Следующий вопрос командиру Бейкеру. Ваша стыковка была замечательной, прекрасная работа. Меня интересует, насколько важен этот опыт для будущей космической станции. Uh, that got us to a nice smooth docking and uh, of course that teamwork with not only my crew and but with the crew on board Mir and uh, so this is uh, an unbelievable step towards uh, the International Space Station which is one that we have to make uh, in order to get to, to a viable International Space Station.